we want to take this opportunity to help you all to understand that you proceed under a flawed premise usually that does not serve you and never ever will and that flawed premise is that it matters to me what you think about me and it also seems to you that if I think this toward you then you should think likewise toward me oh that's tricky because what anyone feels or perceives in any moment in time is way more about what they've been doing and what they've brought their vibration to than anything that has to do with you in this moment so we want you to consider this just as a really good basis for this day think about law of attraction the law of attraction and how it manages everything and think about what it says is that everyone is offering a vibration and those vibrations are being managed by the law of attraction the law of attraction is managing all of that and as the law of attraction is managing all of it that means that nothing can come to you that is not vibrationally active within you which means as you get a response from someone that isn't pleasing your awareness of that is active in your vibration so it's hard for you to get anything else and it feels to you like if they would just do something different you would feel better while we keep saying if you would do something different you would feel better and if you would do something different maybe that very person would be activated in a different way in other words maybe you would own the room in a more powerful way and evoke something different or maybe someone else through the path of least resistance would just zoom right in and fulfill everything that you want because you're clear and clean and pure and calibrated in your vibration you don't have all this know what I don't want mixed in with it so now think about the law of attraction and see yourself as someone who's decided apart from this conversation apart from maybe you woke up in the day and you're not yet thinking about that fat chance but let's just say that happened <laughs> and so your vibration is clear and you are calibrated to your inner being and so you've decided to really isolate calibrate tend to tune to the frequency of you so you sit for a little while after you've meditated and you make some statements on a page about emotional things which are indicators of your calibration and you don't write things that you do not mean but you write things and you mean them and you've practiced it enough that you're pretty good at it and so you write things like I feel eager about this day I feel frisky about this day I feel blessed in this day now the first day you sit to do this maybe not so much but after you do this for a little while it takes some doing to calibrate to your blessedness when not so blessed things are sometimes happening but you can do it and your calibration is everything because your calibration to your source energy is your point of attraction so I feel blessed and I feel eager and I feel expansive and I feel ready and I feel open and I feel full of myself and I feel fun and I feel strong and I feel intuitive and I feel flexible and I feel eager and I feel balanced I feel good I feel really really good I feel good so you calibrate now what's happened whether you write it or just say it it's better to write it because you'll focus better and it's better to do it the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day because after a little while it really catches on and when you write those words you feel the resonance of them because it lights your inner being up with you the two of you become a powerful dynamic powerful good feeling team it's the awesome power or we like to say the awesome pleasure of non-resistant thought that you've got going on with your non-physical partner that's a powerful point of attraction one who's connected to that is more powerful than millions who are not so it's worth taking the time to do it so you're all tuned into that and now the image that Esther has in her mind is she's in this energy bubble and she's now moving out into the world into traffic through the airports into places where lots of people are and because she's tuned to all things wanted things wanted are lighting up all around her 
And those lighted up things are her world. And the things that she didn't calibrate to, like nobody loves me or resentment or what's up with that or that was rude of you or what, I've given all this to you and you feel that way about me? Since that's not what she's calibrated to, since she's calibrated to who she really is, as she moves through the world, she's in sync with Source. Things that match the way she feels show up. Now, let's say you're in this bubble and you've done that and you're moving out into the world. And let's say the world that you've moved out into is right now small. It's just your thought world. It's just your thoughts of the people that you know. And because you've calibrated to this, the people that are going to come to your mind are the people who are calibrated there with you. People in a bad mood aren't going to come to your mind. People not in love with life and not in love with themselves are not going to come to your mind. And so just in your thought world, you are already cleaner, purer, more calibrated, but then you move into the day. Then you move into conversations. Just the ideas of who you will reach out to will be about what you're calibrated to. You can always tell two ways. You can tell what you are vibrational match to. We've been saying this forever. One is how you feel and one is by what happens. But most people don't even think about calibrating until they bump into something unwanted and then we love you so much, it's too late. <laughs> too late for now. You're just going to bump into them and you're just going to get your feelings hurt and you're just going to have a bad experience and you're going to blame it on them and you're going to practice the uncalibration of your inner being while you practice resentment and other things that just don't serve you at all. And so you just can't get around this. You got to clean up your vibration and just because somebody is misbehaving by your standards to you doesn't mean you have to notice it and take it in. So you got to do something about that sensitivity. Well, that's not an easy thing to do because most humans have been doing it for a very long time. Most of you have been calibrating. Oh, we love you so much, but you are so, we love you so much. <laughs> You've been calibrating to others' response of you as if that has anything to do with anything because they, like that one individual, like the world at large, is a mixed bag that will give you what you've calibrated. That one individual is like the world at large, a mixed bag. We've been playing with an analogy to see how it sits with you and it's effective. We want you to think about all of the people in the world in an arena, a really big arena. And they've gathered together in clusters and they've given themselves different labels. There are Republicans and Democrats and there are Catholics and Protestants and there are Jews. There are every category that you can name. There they all are clustered together. They're conflicted because some of them belong in more than one group and they don't know what to do. But there they are and in most cases they are clustered together talking smack about the other groups. <laughs> That's mostly what they're doing. And we say there are only two groups really. There are only two groups. There's the group who in this moment, that's a key word, in this moment are under the influence of their alignment with source, they're calibrated to source, or those who are in this moment calibrated to something else. And in every one of those groups, there are those calibrated to source, every one of those groups. And in every one of those groups, there are those calibrated to something else. And you cannot, have never been able to, and will never be able to do anything about what they're calibrated to. And if you spend your life trying to figure out why they think the way they do or why they feel the way they do or why they see that in the way that they see it when you see it entirely different, you will waste your life. You will deprive yourself of any happy moments because it's just too much and it's not your job. It's not even close to your job. It has nothing to do with you. So whether it's this whole cluster of humanity or whether it's just a person, pay no attention to where they're at only give attention to where you're at. Tend to your own calibration and then watch what happens. 
Because when you choose anyone in any of those groups and you decide to push against them, maybe because of their denial of you or maybe because of their disagreement with you, maybe because they see something different than you do, it doesn't matter. There are lots of reasons that you might want to push against. There are lots of examples of who you might push against, but there's only one reason that you're pushing against any of them. Drum roll, please. There's only one reason that you're pushing against any of them. They threaten you because you're not calibrated. You counted on them for your source and your strength. That's why you gather together in clumps with others is because you don't feel strong on your own. But when you've learned to calibrate to your own wholeness, calibrate to your joy, calibrate to your love, calibrate to your clarity, calibrate to who you are, now you can love them, you can love all of them. They don't threaten you. Some of them call you, some of them entertain you, some of them wrap their arms around you and love you, but it is not important to you what they do. You free them to their own creation while you tend to yours. You see. In the beginning, it's easier to change the subject altogether, but that's easier said than done because something about this person is active in lots of ways with what matters to you. And so it's easier said than done, but we would encourage you to always just step back to the basis of what you know and decide that you're going to calibrate. Esther had an experience in the last few days that just knocked her over because what someone thought wasn't what she thought and it was about her. And how could that possibly be? How could that possibly be? How could you not think the same thing that I think about me? <laughs> how could you not? How could you not? The first reaction when something like that happens is sadness, then some anger, then some resentment. Just gets worse and worse. You can deprive yourself of life force itself over that. After a little while though, because you know what you know and you felt how you felt and you know who you really are, then you ask yourself the question. So Esther sat to write her segment intending. That's where she calibrates and she just asked herself the question because she felt resentful and she felt picked on most of all she felt misunderstood misunderstood and then she thought wait a minute just wait a minute really I've been calibrating for months in my book look at my world I'm going to let that be the basis of this stupid stuff? And so then she just asked herself right out loud, Esther, which do you feel more, resentment or blessed? <laughs> no contest. B-L-E-S-S-E-D, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, underline, 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 circle, 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 circle. Which do you feel more, resentment or love? <laughs> oh, these are easy questions. Love, love. Who am I? How do I feel? What do I choose to feel? What do I calibrate to? Really, am I going to calibrate to who I am or to who somebody who doesn't know who I am thinks I am? You got that choice all day, every day, all day every day, all day, every day.